Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? It's after 3 p.m. on Saturday, November 18th. I'm at Crown Hill Cemetery in Pasadena. It's at the dead end of Ritchie Street in Pasadena. And it is surrounded by industry. And in case you ever want to know why there is a flag in the center of that section, you can see that flag from anywhere you stand in the cemetery. That flag marks the resting place of the only veteran buried in the cemetery that was killed in action. That's Private First Class Benjamin Gutierrez. And we just got finished decorating the cemetery for Christmas. And myself and Pam Murphy was here and her grandson, Michael, and one of our volunteers, Rachel, she dropped off some decorations. So we decorated. I think my favorite thing is the little red ribbons inside. I think that's my favorite part. But it is a beautiful day today. I am nursing a cut thumb. I'm trying to, I tried to stop the bleeding so I could drive home to Mont Bellevue without dripping blood everywhere it's because um sarah was being sarah uh on the way here i enjoyed a box of junior mints and halfway here i dropped one i know i did because i heard it clunk i heard it thump 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 i heard it hit and so i gotta find it i gotta find it so it doesn't melt and cause a gross mess in my vehicle could not find it so, while with my knees on the running board of my truck, I was sweeping my hand along under the seat and in all the little compartments, and I can't find it. <laughs> I can't find that junior mint anywhere. I'll find it when it gets warm and it melts and becomes disgusting. This is a lovely little, uh, little spot here for reflection. Beautiful wind chime up there. I don't know why I can't hear it. It's weird that I can't hear it. This is a little spot to honor the... Sorry, my finger is always in the way when I'm video, videoing or recording, however you say. Um, nice little reflection to honor the fallen Mexican soldiers. We're coming back out to do a little weed eating here. It's a little bit cooler. It's not raining so much, so it's not time to mow again right away. But uh, we came out and decorated. Plus, I wanted to swing around back here and check out to see how our wildflower flower section is going. It looks like the Rocha family has come out and decorated their little sister's burial spot. They always do put lovely little decorations there for the different holidays there's another flower out there I had the pleasure of speaking with the descendants of two burials out here uh, Bonifacio Ontiveros and his sister Eusebia are buried out here and Ontiver I'm sorry Bonifacio's great grandson I think he said grandson or great grandson he was out here with his wife Candy and their son it was very nice to sit and speak with them for a moment it's always nice. And look what we got blooming out here. See the dead grass? You know, we're coming off a really bad drought in Texas. By the way, if you're new here, I'm in Pasadena, Texas. History shows Pasadena was named after Pasadena, California. Even though the man who named it that had never been to California, he just knew that Pasadena, Texas was similar in uh, lush vegetation. He wanted to uh, imply that to people coming. But um, we've had a pretty bad drought, so there's a lot of dead grass. It's like this everywhere. It is like this everywhere. But uh, we do have some stuff blooming. Uh, I think that's beautiful. We got those wild roses and then these pink ones here. That is really lovely. That is very lovely. And these stakes are marking off our wildflower section. We have sowed a lot of wildflower seeds out here. And, you know, it's going to be months before they start to bloom. And uh, we're praying that they do bloom. 
you know, this was a pretty bad drought and we're praying that they do bloom. But we're not even going to mow this section. We're not going to touch it. Nothing within the these, these staked off section. So I'll keep recording and showing progress and updates and we're hoping uh, to have a really, really nice, lush, beautiful wildflower section that we welcome people to come and have their picture taken in. That seems to be the thing to do. <laughs> Not just in Texas, but it is a thing to do in Texas. Look at the trees. They're turning colors. It's fall. It's not much longer till it's going to be Christmas. We're going to have our wreaths across America ceremony. Ooh, I think it is just so I cannot remember. I'm sorry, but it is on our website, www.crownhillcemetery.org. All our, our events are on there. I'm sorry, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I do know December 9, Saturday, December 9, we will have 90, 90, 90 Boy Scouts out here. They are volunteering with Wilderness Houston to come out and plant 200 trees. This center drive, you can't see it from here, but right there, there's a center drive. The trees are gonna line that drive and they're also going to completely line, well, not completely, but about, oh, I can't get my finger in the, there about the middle of the fence all the way to the back it's going to line the fence line and then there's going to be several sections just swaths of trees and uh, we're really excited about that we're all going to be out here um so feel free to come by come by say hi check it out uh watch the boy scouts in action and give them a thank you and uh and wherever you're watching from let me know i i see a. Uh, there's a, uh, not a lot, but I've got some people viewing and it'd be interesting to know where you're viewing from because I get a, a lot of people commenting whenever I post anything about the Swedish royal family, which is one of my favorite, favorite things to talk about. I love them, love them. And uh, whenever I post about them, I get people from all over the world commenting. So if you're visiting, please let me know where you're visiting from. And, uh. Oh, I forgot to do a drive-by of the decorations. My bad. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to stop and say hi to the fishers up here. Always, We always say hi to the people fishing and invite them to the cemetery. So, hope you're having a good weekend. Bye-bye.